just was acting so weird. And it was like, she was like a zombie around the house last night. Pre, just, pre-medication. Pre-medication, pre-emergency, um, yeah. Like a zombie. She'd go around the house and just like wouldn't settle down. You know, the, the, the question is, is this a neurological problem or not? Um, and when we hear things like, you know, dogs getting stuck in corners and behavior changes and um, walking in circles and things like that, we worry about a problem affecting the brain. What are the things that can affect the brain? I mean, we worry about things like brain tumors, we worry about things like encephalitis and meningitis, we worry about infections, um, we worry about strokes. So this is Comet's MRI here. What we're looking at is Comet in profile. So her nose would come out here to the left. This is her forehead. This is the top of her head. And this is her brain. These two images are slices made right where this green line is. And they're just two different types of sequences that accentuate different things. This is a T2 weighted image. And on this type of image, fluid and edema show up as being bright. Whereas on a post-contrast T1 weighted image, certain things can contrast enhance. So abnormal brain tumors, certain infections, meningitis can all show up as being uh, contrast enhancing. Based on this type of image, I would be most concerned that this is a brain tumor. Um, no one can know for certain that it's a brain tumor without a biopsy, but based on the imaging characteristics, I'd be most concerned that Comet has a brain tumor such as a glioma, potentially something like lymphoma or a histiocytic sarcoma can all look like this. Certain infections can look like this too, but I think that's really, really unlikely. Then when we look at this MRI, again, it's at the same level. It just accentuates different things. So you can still sort of make out that there's this round thing here, but there's all of this brightness or what we call edema surrounding it. In both of the images, everything's shifted towards the right, what we call a midline shift. And that's just because of this mass here. So I don't know that it's a tumor, but I suspect that it's a tumor. The only way to truly prove that it's a tumor is to biopsy it. But I don't recommend surgery just based on its location and the likelihood of me getting all or even the majority of this mass is very, very low. So what are our treatment options? Um, since surgery isn't a strong treatment option for Comet, our other two ways of approaching this would be things like meeting with an oncologist for things like radiation and or chemotherapy to try and slow the growth of the tumor and hopefully even shrink it. But we don't expect that that's going to cure the tumor. The second way of treating it would be palliatively. So medications that aren't going to necessarily treat or shrink the tumor, but are going to take away the swelling and edema um, around the tumor. And that should help with symptoms. Certainly in the short term, it's going to make her probably look better, but in the long term, this tumor is going to come back and we're going to have things like walking in circles, blindness, weakness on one side of the body, and potentially even things like seizures. So neurologically, very happy with how we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, we should try and decrease the prednisone just a little further. It's, it's a, a balancing act, so to speak, where we, you know, we try and find the lowest amount of prednisone that we can give her that controls the symptoms. Um, and we want to do that for a couple reasons. Just one, I mean, she's doing great, so we want to try and give her less to see will she also be great on less prednisone. Mm -hmm. So that if and when we need to increase it, we've got room to go up as opposed right. to, you know, we've had her on this high dose for months mm -hmm. and months and months. Yeah. She's very food obsessed. That's normal, right? That's because of the prednisone, yeah, yeah. not because okay. of her Because that, I would say, is her only behavior change. Like, she'll walk into the kitchen, she's walking around, she's going to the pantry, so, but none of the other stuff, no. But it's just very food crazed. Okay?